This is C at NIMAX's review of Drive Angry, shot in state-of-the-art 3D with Nicolas Cage. I am reviewing it, and he is helping me. Go ahead. This is a pretty good movie, as long as you take it for what it's intended to be, which is just a movie that is fun and not intended to be any type of a serious Oscar-nominated film. Nicolas Cage does a great job in this movie. In fact, all the actors do a really nice job, given the type of film it is. The script is good, and overall it has a lot of action. I give them credit. A movie like this can go bad on you very, very quickly. If you have a bad script or bad acting, it can turn into a very, very bad movie quickly. Instead, they do a great job of pulling it off. It's just a lot of fun. It's all tongue-in-cheek, but remember... Take this movie for what it is. Similar to Zombieland, it's a lot of fun because it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, when I walked out of the theater, I kind of realized that only a guy like Nicolas Cage uh, could really pull off such a role. He does a really good job of making it fun, tongue-in-cheek, over-the-top corny. The action sequences are very fun to watch. The cast overall is very well uh, done. Um, my favorite part was the accountant. Um, the girl is hot and she's good but overall doesn't add much to the equation. Uh, the 3D did not work very well. It wasn't great. Um, it wasn't as good as Avatar but it wasn't as crappy as Clash of the Titans. Overall I'd give it three out of five stars. I agree that the 3D didn't really add anything to this movie. Um, and I certainly wouldn't be comparing it to Avatar, uh, obviously a totally different genre. I did enjoy the classic American cars that they used in the movie and thought that the actors and actresses did a good job of keeping the film on pace. I never got bored, and when it was over, it was just a movie that had been a lot of fun. This one I'm going to give three stars, but I'm going to call it a Netflix rental. I would not encourage people to spend the money to see this one in the theaters, but definitely a Netflix rental.